Yo, what's up? It's your boy Jono with this week's rant. And I'll be damned if we ain't got a lot of stuff to talk about this week. So get your popcorn, people. Jono is about to rant. I find it funny that people always want to celebrate Independence Day. But if you ask them, who do we gain our independence from? The majority of the people don't even know. And let's be real. At that time in 1776, when we got independence from, wait for it, black people wasn't free or independent of shit. So we shouldn't be celebrating at all. Why is it that dogs can pee on the street, but people can't? How long do you think it's going to be before Kanye decides to say to the world in his music that he cheated on Kim Kardashian? Being that we all know that he always is on Jay-Z's nuts about everything that Jay does. What'd you say? What? Two weeks? A month? Come on, yay. Don't fail me. And speaking of Jay-Z, why is it that people get surprised when these male celebrities come out and say they cheated on their beautiful wives? Why are y'all surprised? These guys are in high power. There are so many women that are sometimes better than their wives that is throwing sex at them. And if they feel they can't get caught, then they're going to do it. Now, listen, I've never cheated on any girl I would ever was with. But I'm just saying, when you're a celebrity and it's tossed at you like that, man. You take the chance. So stop being surprised, people. I mean, Jay-Z and Beyonce, they're just regular people at the end of the day. And a man is going to be a man. I'm just being real. Now, again, I've never cheated on any girl I was with. I'm just talking about Jay-Z. And since we're on the topic of Jay-Z, let me switch gears over to Usher. This nigga had herpes for eight years? And... He slept with the best friend or the friend of his ex-wife? <sighs> These niggas, man. I know I can't cast the first stone because I've done some dirty shit. I've aired my laundry. See my album, Patricia's Son, track five. But I'm just saying, wow, Usher. <laughs> Y'all niggas be getting it in. And since we're on the topic of cheating, apparently Kevin Hart has cheated on his pregnant wife with a white chick. Are you serious right now, k Hart? A white chick? She better be, it better been Alyssa Milano, nigga, or Scarlett Johansson, because your wife is pretty bad. k Hart, man, what's, what's up, B? What's up? There's a lot going on in this world this week. Woo! L.A. is such a health-conscious city. But nobody walks here. You ever really, just really look at DJ Khaled? Doesn't he look like that fat little kid that used to be in your class that everybody used to pick on and throw spaghetti at? And now all of a sudden, he's gotten older, got some money, but he still looked like that fat little kid that you would throw spaghetti at. Ain't shit changed. I'm just saying. And when he says, we are the best music, is he actually right? Does he have the best music? Because I know a lot of people out there whose music is actually much better. So, you're actually lying. Or, unless that's that fat kid thing he just thinks he does. I don't know. Either way, that nigga still look like a little fat kid or grown up fat kid that I should throw some spaghetti on his head. Nigga, the president's son is dumb as fuck. How does nigga go exchange emails with somebody about ties to Russia and meeting with Russian people. And then they keep claiming that these niggas had no ties with Russia. <sighs> Y'all niggas is stupid as fuck. So, the boy Michael Vick <laughs> said some dumb shit and everybody attacked him because he said Colin Kaepernick needs to change his image and one of the ways he can do it is by cutting his hair. Now, Michael Vick isn't the person to be giving any image consulting advice to anybody knowing what he did and like my man Shannon Sharp said uh, Ka 
Kaepernick doesn't need to change his image. He did anything. He didn't do anything wrong. He took a knee during the national anthem. He didn't beat up his wife. He didn't fucking fight dogs. He didn't uh, sell no drugs. He didn't do anything negative to hurt his image. So why should he cut his hair? <sighs> I hate the fact that Vic said that. But what I hate even more is two things. One, it's that crab in a barrel bucket. But I also hate that everybody on social media went hard on him. Because again, that's still just the crabs in the bucket. Everybody's pulling them down. <sighs> sometimes athletes, and I said this about Shaq, sometimes we need to just shut the fuck up and don't say nothing. Stand in solidarity or don't stand for nothing. Just be quiet. If you have an opinion about something that you can, that are you sure if you say it, it can be taken the wrong way, be quiet. I don't want to talk about that. Sometimes, and the, and the media is quick to get black athletes to ask them about things like this so that you can look like you're against each other. Stop falling for the okie doke, black athletes. And speaking of superstars in the news, I told you this is a fun filled week. This nigga R. Kelly. Again, as soon as shit happens, people start tearing him down. I do not condone what he did. But at this point, he actually hasn't done anything wrong. He really hasn't. It's just because of his past history that, oh, we see him with some girl and, it, and, and they saying he's in a cult. We assume this motherfucker is preying on women. But first and foremost, I point out this girl is of legal age. All the girls that are supposedly being held against their will are of legal age. So technically, he hasn't done anything wrong. And the father of one of the girls is the guy who facilitated the, the meeting between his daughter and R. Kelly. So now because she wasn't calling you back or whatever, you choose to say the dude's running a cult. And then everybody on the internet ran out and bashed R. Kelly. Now, again, the stuff that he did in the past, I do not condone that. It was wrong. But this time, it doesn't seem like he's done anything wrong. I know bitches, if I had a fly-ass house, uh, tons of bitches would want to be over here and not leave. <laughs> it's just that simple. But when you got some shitty-ass apartment, yeah, bitches is quick to get out your house. But I'm sure... <laughs> Kelly's house is as nice as fuck and I'm sure he's giving chicks things so they are more willing to stay over there and come back <sighs> I gotta see how this one plays out before I go ahead and crucify the man because I'm not for crucifying people like the internet is this quick let me find out the facts and then I'll make a judgment unlike you motherfuckers who always rush to judge once again the crabs in the barrel, constantly pulling other black people down. It seems to me that only really, really pretty people work out at Equinox. And finally, the juice is loose. Almost. OJ Simpson, if you don't know, is definitely has been, uh, got his parole granted. And sometime in October, he will be getting out of jail. Now, a lot of people are still holding on to what happened in the 90s, so they're upset about it. But this crime has nothing to do with the past crime. We're judging him on this. And it's, it's whack because he was judged to me, and a lot of people, even white people, feel that he was judged unfairly in this case to actually get nine years for this bullshit-ass kidnapping uh, charge with some bullshit. But the dude was a model citizen, and by Nevada laws, he did everything he was supposed to do while he was in jail. So, of course, he was supposed to get out or, or, or get paroled. So, all of this stuff about people feeling, you know, about the system, well, the system, is, <laughs> the system actually worked. This is the system that y'all set up, and it worked for him. Um, he didn't do anything wrong in jail, in prison. He was a model citizen. So the man is time to get out. Y'all are still harping on that 90, the 90s. At some point, y'all got to let it go. You don't see black people harassing Casey Anthony. She killed babies. 
and got away with it. We ain't chasing our ass down. But yet, constantly, people are constantly still on this OJ thing. And, you know, I, I say this now, I said this then, you will never hear me say in public that OJ did it. I just will not say it. Uh, I don't think he did it. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all may hate me. And any of the white people out there that's watching my videos, probably going to be like, John, I ain't fucking with you no more. And I get it. But at the end of the day, like my man Chappelle said, my blackness won't allow me to say that. I, I'm not going to say that in public. Uh, I'm not going to even say it in private. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on it, man. Uh, at some point, y'all got to get over it, man. It, it happened. We don't know. He got acquitted. He did his time for this crime. Let it go. And this has been this week's rant with your boy John O. Make sure you don't do something, say something, let me see something that ends your ass up on this list next week. The countdown has begun. I think this is 91. Nine more joints to go. And then I'm out of here. Uh, peace out to everybody who always supports me, man. Please continue to support. Send me those comments. Big up to everybody who always sends me uh, information. Uh, I love y'all, man. This, 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 this 100 ride has been a great ride coming to this 100 episode with y'all, man. Those who constantly have been there for me. Please continue in my new ventures. Oh, Patricia's son, out now. Link in the below. If you see me in the streets, I got hard copies. Let me wipe my neck because I know it's sweaty as hell down there. Woo! Big up to my four horsemen, man. Y'all know my four. I keep saying four, but it's more than four. Big up to all my people who support me. My man, Music Lover, The Real Superman, Jake Mugger, uh, DR, uh, my girl Charlie, uh, Brian J. Howard, uh, all y'all, man. Uh, yeah. I wonder what I'm going to do when I stop ranting. I don't know. We'll think of something else, all right? Uh, until the next time, don't be smart, be genius, and always, always, always stay gecko. I'll see you next time. Hey, what's up? It's John Alley. And if you like what you just saw, then all you have to do is subscribe by pressing the button that's right over my head. And if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, bam, they're right there, all right? And if you want to see more of my vlog videos, bam, they're right there. Other than that, y'all have a good day. And I thank y'all so much for watching. The General has spoken. Kate told me to do this. Hey guys, I'm Kate and I'm the one that told him to do this. Aren't you glad?